Let's let's bring in uh, F. Young Linus, a journalist, to uh, tell us what actually you know, transpired on ground there. Uh, Linus, thank you very much indeed for joining us this thank time. You, well, the stories that we have got so far, it's a little bit disturbing that um, a detachment of the Nigerian army invaded the premises of National Union of Journalists, Abia State. They um, destroyed properties, phones, iPads, and all of that. Confirm all of these to us. Uh, yes, this morning, the, during the operation, a uh, show of force was going on. They, took, uh, they, were, they went through some streets within the city center, and uh, when they got to... Uh, Abia Tsoa, where the AUJ office is located, um, uh, you know, we, there is a back on it. Uh, journalists were outside because of the siren and the noise that uh, accompanying their uh, show of force. So we're looking at them. So the next thing we saw about 20 uh, armed uh, soldiers jumping down from their truck and they ran straight to the AUJ press center, uh, alleging that uh, somebody took a shot, a photo shot of them during the uh, show of force. From there, they started beating us, demanding for our phones. They smashed our phones, our iPads, and they even went away with some of our phones. As I'm speaking with you now, the NUJ press center has been turned upside down. Um, even the women that are selling food stuff um, and other things, they, they ran for their life. And as I speak with you right now, uh, the old place is completely in disarray. All right, Linus, but then does... Um this invasion by the army have anything to do uh, with the altercation between the Nigerian army and uh, the members of the indigenous people of Biafra uh, this on Sunday? No, it has nothing to do with us. We are just doing our, we were just outside looking at them because we heard an unusual noise early in the morning. So we were just looking at them and they alleged that we were taking pictures. What pictures are they talking about? What pictures now? They were, they were, uh, you know, the vehicles, they have about, uh, so four uh, APC and uh, over 20 trucks and uh, helix van loaded with soldiers. They were going and the siren was on. So that the noise from the siren attracted us. And so we went out to the back corner and were watching. So okay. they alleged that some of us were taking, uh, snapping the picture of the movement as the show of force was going on. All right, but beyond uh, what, what you experience at the moment, Tell us what exactly is going on at the moment. Uh, right now, uh, um, uh, defenseless Abians, they are all, some of them, they've, uh, they've entered the NUJ press center to so sympathize with us to find out what is going on. And currently, journalists are, you know, we are not happy, the mood, uh, you know, we are so tensed up, we are doing our reports, we are trying to let the world know what actually happened, how the military invaded uh, our NUJ press center, and... Um, the AUJ state chairman uh, came in a few minutes ago and he, he, he addressed the press. He condemned uh, the, the invasion and uh, we are still waiting for... We've also contacted the commissioner of police. We've contacted the deputy governor on phone. So we are waiting for their responses. So the commissioner of police said uh, we should make an official letter to inform the police officially of the incident. Meanwhile, we've also contacted the uh, uh, assistant director of public relations of the Nigerian Army, um, 14 Brigade of Afia, he denied the incident and he said he's not aware of it. All right, well, many thanks now for joining us. Um, yeah. Linus, uh, of course, it's good to know that you and the others uh, are, are safe now.